in the world of data science the learning happens from numbers machine learn from numbers and when we talk of numbers it's all about mathematics and statistics welcome to unfold data science this is aman here and i'm a data scientist in this video i am going to talk to you about measures of central tendency very important concept from statistics point of view for data science by end of this video you will have a very good understanding of what are measures of central tendency and what is the importance of these in world of data science let's start so let's say these are the stock prices of your favorite stock in last 5 hours okay i'm just writing few random numbers here so these are the stock prices of your favorite stock in last 5 hours and then by looking at these numbers you can very safely say that stock is revolving around 20 or stock prices for last 5 hours can be represented by a number and that number can be 20 okay so all these five numbers can be represented by one number that is called 20 so any number that represents the population or the chunk of numbers is called measure of central tendency for the bigger population in this case this is the population okay but here from our common sense or since we are dealing with five numbers only so we can directly by looking at this say 20 is the number which is you know safely representing this population but in the world of statistics and mathematics there are you know theories defined and there are rules defined and terms defined to reach to this 20 okay so what are those terms or what are those techniques let's see one by one so in the world of stats and mathematics measures of central tendency fall in four categories mainly first is mean or average okay second is median third is mode and fourth is positional value all four are very important but this positional values is something which we use a lot in the world of data science and machine learning i'll discuss all these one by one okay so mean typically falls in three categories one is called arithmetic mean geometric mean and harmonic mean in the world of data science since we deal with all the numbers discrete numbers case by case hence mostly we work with arithmetic mean so arithmetic mean is very simple to understand if i give you n numbers you sum all the numbers and divide by n that gives you the mean okay or average for example if i say you what is the average of 12 24 and 35 you can just sum it up and divide by 3 so the formula is very simple sum everything divide by the population count that gives you the mean okay coming to median what is median median is the middle number of the sorted population for example this is our population so if we have to sort this population in ascending order so the population will be sorted like 12 24 and 35 note here the the number is increasing like this okay so what is the middle number of this population 24 so 24 becomes the median of this population this is about median coming to mode what is the mode mode is the most occurring number in a population for example let's say if this population has another 35 then since 35 is occurring twice so 35 becomes mode okay a population can have more than one mode also it's possible so these are theoretically mean median and mode okay now let's try understanding with some example where to use what let me give you a scenario let's say you are having lunch with three of your colleagues in your office okay you and let me rub this you can go back and see if you want so let's say this is you and this is three of your friends okay all of you are having lunch in your office cafeteria okay and all of you make like i'm just putting some numbers let's say 60k per annum 70k per annum 75k per annum somebody makes 55k per annum okay so if somebody asks what is the average income of this table the table where all of you are having lunch so the average income would be 60 plus 70 plus this divided by 4 well and good okay so in this case since numbers are close to each other all the numbers in the population so mean can be a safer representation of this population 
I am using this word safer again and again. Why I am using? I'll tell you in a bit. Mean is a safer representation of population in this case. Why? Because numbers are close to each other. It's not too far. Now let's say CEO of your organization comes and joins you on the lunch. Okay, CEO comes, the fifth guy, and joins you on the lunch. And CEO's salary is let's say I don't know one million dollar. Okay, and if this one million comes in this, and then mean is calculated, then we will get a number which is not a very good representation of this population because four of the people or 80% of the people on that table are not making even close to this x in this type of situations in the world of statistics this is called an outlier okay and in this type of situation mean is not a good or safe representation of the population so what do we do now let's consider median so if we have to calculate median on 60 70 75 55 and 1 million what will happen we have to first sort it right so first will come 55k then it will come 60k then it will come 70k and then comes 75k and then comes person with 1 million okay now what is the median of this population as we discussed median is the middle number so what is the middle number 70 right is 70 a good representation or safe representation of this population yes so in this case median is a better representation of this population so in the world of data science and machine learning we have to be very careful why are we choosing mean and why are we choosing median at times and what is the significance of that we have to be very careful with choosing mean because if there are any numbers which is an outlier or which is at too too low or too high from the central data then it will create issues in the data okay so this is the difference between how do we use mean and median where to use what okay now let's try understanding about positional values so mean is called mathematical average the reason is we need to calculate mean by summing up everything and dividing by number of observations on the other hand median is called positional average why because median is the positional number in the sorted data let's see one more example of how to compute median and then how to compute the positional values let's say 5 12 16 9 and 1 this is the population okay so what will be the median of this population step 1 we have to sort it so 1 then comes 5 then comes 9 then comes 12 and 16 so 9 is the median of this population since this is the middle number it's quite possible that there can be two middle numbers in case the population count is not odd number if there are two middle numbers then their average is the median of that population okay now to understand what is a positional value a positional value is something that divides your data in equal parts okay and median is also one of the positional value why because median is dividing your data into two parts if you see so 50% of your data is this side of the median and 50% of your data is right side of your median right so median is one example of positional value now i'll tell you what are other positional values in the world of stats and maths okay so median divides your data into two parts so this is median okay something else which is known as quartile divides your data into four equal parts okay these are called quartiles there is something which divides your data into 10 equal parts okay so 10 equal parts is called deciles okay and last one you would have heard about this as well something which divides your data into 100 equal parts is called percentile okay percentile so these are different different positional values in the world of statistics that divide your data into equal parts okay quartiles divide your data into four equal parts like median divided your data into two equal parts quartile divided into four equal parts okay so if this is your data then data will be divided into four equal parts q1 q2 and q3 these are different different quartiles so all these will be one one value 
for example if i take an data let's say 11 20, 12 24 9 8 6 then this data will have 1q1 1q2 and 1q3 okay 25 percent of the data will be below q1 okay 50 percent of the data will be below q2 and 75 percent of the data will be below q3 okay so which means only 25 percent of the data will be more than q3 okay so here we are talking about quartiles four cuts in the data for example if this is the data then first thing is to sort it so if i sort it it will be 6 8 9 11 12 and 24 now this sorted population if we can make four cuts cut one cut two cut three okay three cuts and four parts of the data part one part two part three part four i'm just randomly cutting it this is not the exact numbers so this is called q1 this is called q2 this is called q3 and 25 percent of the data will be on each of these buckets okay this is about quartiles if you take example of deciles so deciles will cut your data into 10 equal parts which means we will we'll have d1 d2 d3 up to d9 okay this is up to decile 1 below decile 2 and similarly and if we take the example of percentile then percentile makes your data into 100 buckets okay and hence percentile will be from p1 to p99 right so this is all these are positional values which cuts your data into equal parts all these concepts are extremely important when you do exploration of the data before training your machine learning model so all these are very very important on calculation part don't think that you have to do all these calculation manually no all these things will be done in python or r using one simple command okay we as a programmer no need to write everything from the scratch things will be done by the tool but we have to understand very clearly what are major of central tendency why mean and median are different and when to use what and what is meant by this you know positional values which is cutting the data in equal parts okay in my next video i'll discuss about how these positional values are important and how does it relate to the work that we do and i'll cover measures of dispersion which tells about how distributed or how spread the data is that is again very important in the world of machine learning okay so how did you like this video guys let me know through likes and comments i'll see you all in the next video till then take care